Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome to Unity Worship. We're happy you're here with us um, to join us in the middle of the week um, to just pause for a moment and worship, worship our God, um, to be able to spend some time with Him. Um, welcome. Oh, let's pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for having us here. It's always a blessing to have a chance to worship you, Lord. Not only um, ourselves to you, Lord, but as like, together as a group. Even though we're not together in person, Lord, we are together in spirit. And we hope that you give us strength as we go through these troubled times, Lord. In I pray. Amen. Amen. Um, this morning, we're going to uplift him. And wherever you are, if you know this song, sing it along. It's a very powerful worship song. Um, it's the time to surrender and, and know that, that God is going to hold us. He holds the ground where we stand. So there's nothing else that we cannot accomplish without Him, that we cannot conquer without Him. Whole heart. as deep as your scars you pulled me from the clay you set me on a rock called me by your name laid my heart all again lifted up and my knees know what's all for your glory. I might stand with more reasons to sing than to fear. You pulled me from the clay, set me on a rock, called me by your name. Made my heart all again. And here I stand, I am surrender. I need you now. Oh, my heart, now and forever, my soul cries out once I was broken. But you loved my whole heart through. Sin has no hold on me, cause your grace holds me now. And that grace holds the ground where the grave did. All my shame remains left for dead in your wake. You crushed those age old aches. You left no stone unturned. You stepped out of that grave, shouldered me all the way. Here I stand, I am surrender, I need you now. Oh, my heart, now and forever, my soul cries out. Once I was broken, but you loved my whole heart through. Sin has no hold on me, cause your grace holds me now. Healed and forgiven, look where my chains are now. Death has no hold on me, cause your grace holds me now. 
grace holds me now. Your grace holds me now. Your grace holds me now. Your grace holds me now. Here I stand. I am surrender. I need you now oh my heart now and forever my soul cries out once i was broken but you love my whole heart through sin has no hold on me because your grace holds me now Healed and forgiven. Look where my chains are now. Death has no hold on me, because your grace holds me now. Amen. Death has no hold on me, because your grace holds me now. Amen. Praise God. Hello, everyone. So today I want to share with you something that has been going through my mind ever since this COVID-19 pandemic changed all of our lives and actually pretty much erased life as we knew it. Maybe you feel the same way as I do. Uncertain, anxious, uncertain as to when this is going to end. Uncertain as to will there be a vaccine. Uncertain as to right here in our hospital when we can get back to working our full schedules, um, when our departments will open up, and for frontline workers um, taking care of patients affected, will our patients recover? And uncertain whether those of us that have co-workers on furlough, will they be back? When will they be back? So much uncertainty. And even in our communities, um, when will they open up? And one of the big things is when can we get back to worshiping in our faith communities? And then a lot of uncertainty as how we have to act when we're out in public, when we go to the grocery stores, when we shop for essential things like toilet paper, hand sanitizer, or even cleaning wipes. Uncertainty if we'll be able to find those. There's so much uncertainty. But here's the thing. Even with so much uncertainty, many of us have experienced so many blessings during this time. So in the midst of all this uncertainty, feeling anxious, I turn to the Bible for answers to see what the Bible had to say about this uncertainty, this anxiousness that I was feeling. And I found some verses that speaks directly to this. The first one is 1 Peter 5, 6, and 7. And it says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. And from Psalms 56, 3, he says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And the last verse in Proverbs 16, 3, and uh, this is from the Message Bible because I liked uh, the translation and what it said. And it, and it simply says, put God in charge of your work. Then what you've planned will take place. So during these times of uncertainty, if you feel like I do, may I suggest that we continue to pray 
and connect with God every moment that we can and give all our uncertainty and anxiety to him and let him work in our lives to turn our anxieties, to turn our uncertainties into answered prayers and continued blessings. Thank you. Thank you. And today we're going to cast our, all our anxieties in God's hands. And I have three prayer requests here. One is from a lady. She has a, her brother in ICU. And then she's praying. He's saying that he needs to start breathing on his own without, venti without the ventilator. The other one is from a gentleman. He's praying for mental health. And the third one is asking for a complete healing of my body. And then she finished by saying, God bless me on this journey. So I think this is so powerful, so profound. Asking God to bless us on the journey that each one of us is going through. So let's pray as we place our anxieties in God's hands. Our precious Lord, as we go through this time of uncertainty that it has been for a couple of months or more, we thank you, Lord, because you have been with us. Some of us may be uh, going through difficult times, probably maybe with some flexing time, good luck, or the uncertainty what's going to happen. Patients to the families. And we pray, Lord, in a special way that today we can be refreshed by your Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, be with us. Give us the confidence that you are walking with us and not only holding our hands, you are carrying us during this time of trial during this time of anxiety. So please, Lord, help us to look forward, being confident that as we look forward, you have been with us, and there's the assurance that you're going to be with us today, tomorrow, and always. Please, Lord, be with our associates, be with the executive team, be with the leaders of the, of the hospital as we start reopening some services and also as the nation start reopening some business and services. Please, Lord, be with this United States of America and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.